Please be seated. This is an important day in the calendar of the University of Hertfordshire, a day for celebrating the success and the achievements of our graduates. As Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon's ceremony for the Business School. May I introduce to the platform party and welcome on my right, Mr. Jerry Forrester, Dean of the Business School, and on my left, Mr. Andrew Francis, Head of the Department of Marketing and Enterprise. May I also welcome our postgraduates, their relatives and friends to this afternoon's ceremony. I have pleasure in calling upon Mr. Andrew Francis to address the assembly. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and a very warm welcome to you all. I am delighted to be sharing this special moment with you, celebrating all that you've achieved here with us at Hertfordshire and looking, for, looking ahead to bright new futures for every one of you. Too often recently, whenever we open a newspaper or watch television, we're faced with a barrage of bad news, with stories of economic woe and job cuts, and frankly, it's easy to feel pessimistic. And then a day like today comes along, and I see passionate, highly skilled people such as yourselves ready to take on the world. It's a great feeling and a welcome reminder that our future is in good hands. Of course, that's not to say everything's going to be easy out there. It isn't. And you're entering into a business world very different to the one faced by graduates of a few years ago. There's far less certainty today, and there's no doubt that you will face some real challenges. But in many ways, you are better equipped than any other generation before you. You chose a university focused on honing the knowledge and skills and attitudes that will appeal to employers, which will open doors, whatever the economic climate. The experiences you have had with us have not only challenged you intellectually, as every higher education course should, but has also challenged you personally and practically, giving you the opportunity to learn and grow beyond the classroom in real-world situations. You have developed academic knowledge and practical skills, and you will have grown in confidence and creativity, making you a real asset to employers from day one. Indeed, sharing this day with you reinforces the value of higher education in producing outstanding individuals, bursting with fresh ideas, drive and passion to build a better society. You've chosen to train for careers in a range of worthy professions, and you should feel very satisfied with your achievements so far and of the paths you are embarking upon. For those of you who have recently entered your chosen profession, you do so at a time of exciting change change that sees more emphasis placed on your knowledge and expertise. Of course, what you will have realized is that learning did not end when you finished your postgraduate course here at Hertfordshire. And although today you will receive your certificate as proper recognition of your achievement, it is best seen, perhaps, as the foundation upon which to build for the future. Whatever you do next, wherever your careers take you, you should all share, or you all share, a common link. You are part of an ever-increasing international network of Hertfordshire alumni, and with that comes a certain responsibility to do good in the world, to make the best use of what you've learned, and in turn to help others. So while you're enjoying your new lives and your careers, I do hope that you spare a thought for us now and again, back here at UH. In fact, I'd like to encourage you to do a little bit more than that. 
Every year we welcome alumni who have had, who've gone on to achieve success all over the world and who feel passionately about giving something back, sharing their stories and insights, perhaps even employing our students and graduates. You too could be someone who makes a difference and encourages others to follow in your footsteps. As alumni, you are important to that continued success. As people who have benefited from a university education, you will continue to see the value in higher education. So please become an active member of the UH Alumni Network and do keep in touch. To finish, I'd like to mention that while I hope you feel that the University of Hertfordshire has provided you with the expert support you needed during your studies, I urge you to also think of others who have made today possible, in some cases through sacrifices made. I refer to your school teachers, to your peers, to your friends, and of course your families, some of whom are with you here today, and I can just about see some of you smiling as I speak, and possibly a little relieved that you might now take a short break from studying, even if it's only for a short while. Graduates, all that remains for me to do is once again sincerely congratulate you on your outstanding achievements. I hope you look back on your time as a student here at Hertfordshire with great fondness. So on behalf of the university, and specifically the Department of Marketing and Enterprise, I thank you for being with us today, and I wish you the best of luck in your future lives and careers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. We shall now receive the postgraduates of the Business School. Candidates are presented by a senior member of academic staff from their faculty. I first call upon Caroline Large. Business School, Department of Marketing and Enterprise, Master of Science degree in International Business. Mohamed Fazu Kabir Adamu. <clears throat> Sarah Sayofori Ojiugo Adoki. Emmanuel Adu Bokier. <clears throat> Olan Riwadru Mohamed Afulabi. <clears throat> With distinction, Baba Ahmed. Usha Ajire. <clears throat> Rashid Jassim Al Dayel. <clears throat> Fazia Al Jarala. Mohammed Jihad Abdullah Al Khatib. <laughs> Nuf Al Musa. <laughs> Mohammed Salah e Al Yami. Devi Anand. <clears throat> Chioma Frances Anibonam. <clears throat> Sa
Surthipong Anusanti. Omatayo Kabir Atunde. Gulshan Shosham Ramsaran Singh Balgobin. <laughs> Jawahir Mohammedid Mohammed Bogis. <laughs> With distinction, Luis Stella Canizales. Jiang <laughs> Jun Chen. <laughs> Yu Chen. Lai Quen Cheng. <laughs> Sana Chabra. Mohammed Mabubal Bari Chaudhry. <laughs> With distinction and winner of the University Prize, William Henry Cummings. Dao Van Tai. <laughs> Bo Fan. Rui Gan. <laughs> Abhijat Gupta. <laughs> With distinction and winner of the University Prize, Mohammed Yassin Hadoud. <laughs> Mahmoud Al Hassan, <laughs> Artu Hassani, <laughs> Kaif Hassan, <laughs> Biahi. Shunwei Husu <laughs> Jie Jie Huang <laughs> Francisca Hyun Hani Mahmoud Jawad.
Sushma Premnath Kiri. Richard William Lance. Busikon Losriwak. <laughs> Makdoom Grenade Mohammed. <laughs> Anas Musa. Fusu Undosimo <laughs> Trukwanonso David Oconquo Nyeka Mary Akoye. <laughs> Fumileo Yamisi Onakade. <laughs> With distinction, Adakole Emmanuel Andrewu. Amna Pandya. Right, okay. Nitin Raj. Nashwa Majib Orikman Rajput. Badra Zaki Salim. Ahmed <laughs> Abdulwab Salim. <laughs> Sebastian Alexander Shostak. Si Chun Ho Baroi Shang Rashesh Sharma Juan Tang <laughs> and Kunihaya Yakuba Tasala <laughs> Sakol Vesugunman Yukal. Petra Vodnikova. <laughs> Shanju. <laughs> Dan Feng Yang.
Zhenyang. Gilson Yigit. Dejian Zhan. Jian Shang. Xiaomei Zheng. Wenfei Zhu. Master of Science degree in Management. Tamir Mohamed Abonayan. Patrick Chukwuma Abua. Vakar Ahmad. Dua Hassan Al Jubbar. Khaled Abdulaziz Al Mubarak. <laughs> Abdul Salam Mohammed Al Mudledge. <laughs> Misal Saleh Al Suli. Lamer Farhad Al Sumet <laughs> Khaled Saeed Al Zamil <laughs> Emmanuel and Dubrosi Anagor. Benjamin Ajibola Awosanmi. <laughs> Sri Divya Bopana. <laughs> James Douglas Broomfield. Toshayan Dan Dylan Chenasim Sami Siang Ang Du Amonefi Ego Chukka Michael Egu. With distinction, Vivian Gina Kachukwa Ezi Colby. Lee T. Fan. (laughs) 
Olayinka Mudope Fasiha. Yu Feng Fan. Chinedu Eloka. Isha Khalil. Pei Pei Lai. Li Li. Ugachukwu and Wandu Madu. Ugachukwu Obina Ojbogu. Emmanuel Cheninomi Ogosanini. Babatunda Ololadi Olanian <laughs> Chun Long Chiang <laughs> Sandeep Sharma Rahul Kumar Singh. <laughs> Wun Su. <laughs> Ho Ting Tan. <laughs> Cho Hong Wang. Kavish Shalini Wijisingi. <laughs> Sing E. Young. <laughs> Taher Maher Taher Zabalawe. <laughs> Shio Po Chung Yu Cho With Distinction Benjamin Zhu Chi Postgraduate Diploma in Management Studies. Ali Jalal Ala Ali. <laughs> Master of Science in International Business. Olalawa Oyasigan Mafi. <laughs> Michael Nanameka Nwayaki. One of the great privileges of being Deputy Vice-Chancellor of this university is that I have the opportunity to congratulate our graduates 
and share a few moments with them to discuss their jobs, their aspirations, and their memories. It really is an honor to share that moment. So congratulations to you, our graduates. You've succeeded. You've gained your degrees and diplomas. You have every right to be proud. As a university, we are proud of your achievements. And while the sole credit for your academic achievement is clearly yours, I am sure you would agree that those close to you have played a crucial role. Parents, partners, children and friends have all helped by providing the encouragement, the shoulder to cry on, the listening ear. But most of all, they have kept faith in you and willed you to succeed. I think it's appropriate that you, our graduates, should stand up and with a warm round of applause, join me in thanking your family and friends who are here today. Please stand up and give your family and friends a round of applause. You can sit down now. <laughs> I want to finally congratulate you on behalf of the university on your awards, and I wish you every success in your future. I now call upon William Henry Cummings to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honour to stand before you and speak on behalf of the graduates receiving their awards this afternoon. In the summer of 2009, towards the end of my undergraduate studies at the University of Hertfordshire, I was fortunate enough to be selected to take part in a six-week exchange programme with San Jose State University. As you can imagine, I was excited at the prospect of having a proper summer in sunny California, the kind of summers we are always promised by the weatherman. While studying at San Jose State University, and yes, I did do a bit of studying, I took a module called Global Business, this short six-week course inspired me to explore this topic further, and on my return to the UK, I started researching the different options available. A year later, I decided to return to the University of Hertfordshire to read International Business. Before commencing the course, I questioned, had I made the right decision? Could I remember how to write an essay? And more importantly, could I remember how to do Harvard, Harvard referencing? I knew early in the first semester I had made the right decision. When this university describes itself as multicultural, it truly is. I now have friends and hopefully places to stay in every corner of the globe. Each of the flags which hang in the atrium represents the nationality of a student at the, at the University of Hertfordshire. Throughout my time here, the number of flags has grown and is symbolic of the cultural diversity of the student population. I must thank my fellow students for sharing their cultural experiences. It was hearing their stories and examples of different traditions and customs which brought studying international business to life both inside and outside of the classroom. I would like to take a moment to tell you about a couple of personal memories for a friend's birthday, a group of us celebrated with Korean karaoke in a Chinese restaurant right here in Hatfield, something I didn't think was even possible. And during the summer, when we were writing our research projects, the month of Ramadan took place. My project group adapted its working patterns to enable us to continue to meet as a group and socialize. It was these first-hand cultural experiences which provides a richness within which to study international business. These encounters brought the subject matter we were introduced to in our lectures and seminars to life. I, now, I know I would not have done as well if I had not had such experiences. I would like, I would like to thank our fantastic lecturers and tutors uh, for sharing their knowledge and their practical examples. The passion and enthusiasm, enthusiasm they have for their subject areas have helped to cultivate both our academic and prof professional skills, which we can take forth into the workplace. Let me also give thanks to, to the dissertation supervisor for guiding us through the research process. They were always on hand to answer those last minute questions and offer little nuggets of advice which ensured we, we successfully passed our dissertations and enabled us to graduate today here with our postgraduate qualifications. We must not forget the administri administrative teams, such as the Academic Skills Unit and Information Hertfordshire, who would track down the one journal article you needed to complete that assignment. Without their tireless work behind the scenes, 
we would not have had the resources to successfully pass our studies. In closing, I would like to congratulate the graduates of the Business School, some of whom could not be here this afternoon. Today is the culmination of the hard work, effort, and many long days and sometimes nights spent in the Learning Resource Centre. It, it is a day to celebrate with our families and friends. Without their kind words of encouragement, continued support throughout the course, and the sacrifices they made to allow us to complete our chosen programme of study, I, and maybe many of you, would not be here receiving our awards. For that, we are eternally grateful, and are pleased you could join us and be part of the celebration. Finally, on behalf of the graduates and guests present, I would like to thank the Deputy Vice-Chancellor for receiving the graduates of the Business School. Although this appears to be the end of a journey, actually it is only the beginning. I look forward to the future and the prospect of our paths crossing as we continue along life's journey. I wish each and every one of you all the best. Thank you. Thanks for that, William. That concludes the formal part of this afternoon's proceedings, so may I remind you that light refreshments await you in the de Havilland restaurant. I would ask you to now stand while the academic board procession leaves the auditorium. Thank you.